I did my training back in 2014 and professionally it made sense. It was the next step to do coaching to add to my HR career. Personally, I'd actually had a really traumatic childhood and uh, I'd always been searching for my reason to be here, right? Um, I had tried to commit suicide a few times, so there was a reasoning as my searching, my seeking was happening on a personal side as well as doing this on a professional level. Boy, <laughs> did I not realize what I was walking into because by day two of mod one, I was floored. I was floored by everything I was learning, um, all the shifts and breakthroughs that are happening for me and the massive realization that this was why I was alive, to become a coach. And not only that, that was when I got really inspired to want to become a lead trainer for IPEC as well. And there's this exercise we do on the second day of Mod 1 that talks about, so a year from now, where do you see yourself? And I wrote down, I am an IPEC trainer, <laughs> not only a coach, but I am an IPEC trainer and that kind of put all the wheels in motion and like they say, the stars align and here I am. The biggest thing I actually want people to know about me, I guess, is that my mission in life is to share inspiration. To share inspiration by a way of facilitating um, opportunities and possibilities. One of the things I do very openly in my trainings is actually to share my story. To share where I came from and where I've now ended landed kind of what life I've created uh, with the intention of showing what's possible for others and as a result of that I've had a few students who's then come up to me and have been able to heal their past right that they have never been able to speak of before.